Yeah. So right here, I have the Akai MPC Live Mark II. Not just any MPC, but the Beat Club Timberland Limited Edition. Now this right here that we see is the MPC Live Mark II, but what makes this MPC so special is what it comes with pre-installed. So if we go ahead and turn on this MPC, we will see that we get started up with the Beat Club Timberland Limited Edition welcome page. Now, as soon as we jump into the browser, we'll see that it comes pre-installed with Beat Club Essential Sound Pack Volume 1 through 3. Now, here we have over 600 samples, including 150 loops, song starters, and beat stems, so we could start building with what they're giving us. And one thing to keep in mind, these are royalty-free samples, so if you do want to use these samples for anything you want to put out, you're more than welcome to. And now the fourth one that we have right here, this is the Timberlands Bounce coming up sample pack, which this thing is packed full of one shots, uh, melodic loops. Not only that, but the sound quality of these one shots are really, really powerful. The one question that I get asked a lot is, about mixing. How do I get my mix to sound better? How do I mix my track? And that's very important. I'm not neglecting that, but my first thing I have to say is what type of samples are you getting into your music? Uh, what type of one shots are you using? If you have good sounding samples, I'm sure that your mix and your master is gonna be a lot easier to execute versus you just bringing in sample packs or sounds that are not as good. So what I'm gonna do really quick, I'm gonna go through each sample pack and just listen to a few of the samples that we get. Now, if we go to Essentials Volume 1, uh, we can actually go right here and listen to the waveforms of each individual sample that we have right here. We have some 808s, some claps, yeah. Okay, that sounds really nice. We have all kinds of one shots for drums, some kicks, and if we actually just type in loops, uh, we'll listen to some of the loops that comes within this Essentials uh, Volume 1. Nice. Yeah. Okay. See, this is actually really powerful for any of us that one idea stems or uh, certain loops to we could start with. Uh, there's times where maybe you're not the best drummer and you want to just get started and start putting your samples on top of a drum break that's already pre-programmed for us. Now we also have these melodic loops right here. Yeah. Going to volume two, we'll actually listen to a few of these hits right here. Oh my goodness, yeah, these type of kicks right here with so much texture not just texture, but the sound quality of the low end right here sounds so nice. Let's actually type in loop right here and let's listen to some of these loops that we have some percussion loops. Oh, that's nice. We also get some melodic loops with volume or essentials volume two. Now let's jump into Essentials Volume 3. There's so many samples and one shots. Now this is really cool because on Essentials Volume 3, you'll have some song starters or uh, stems that you could build on top of. So let's just say you're not the best finger drummer. Like for me, my hi-hats, they're not the most creative. But right here, you'll have some song starters or some ideas that might trigger you and you want to start implementing your own ideas on top of these loops. Maybe you could just start adding your kicks on top of that and start building your beat. We could actually chop this up ourselves and start bringing up our own ideas. Now this fourth sound pack right here is Timberland's Bounce coming up. This sound pack is just so much right here that it's gold. I feel like this sample pack alone, there is just so much for everybody. I'm gonna go through a few of these sounds. I can't go through everything because there's just so much within this sample pack, but let's listen to what we have right here. I mean, we got these really powerful 808s. 
man, like I don't really use 808s, but listening to these makes me want to use 808s. Okay, so now we have some loops right here, some beatboxing loops. <laughs> Now, you don't only get the loops of his beatboxing, but we actually also get one shots of the beatboxing, which is actually really interesting. Now, we could go to the filter right here and go to kicks and just listen to kicks. These kicks are so, so awesome. I'm going to load that up right there. Oh, that sounds nice. I'm going to load that up there. Oh, that sounds nice. I'm going to replace this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a beat using some of the sounds that we are getting within these sample packs. Uh, what you see right here on my desk is exactly what I'm using to transmit sound to you. Actually, that's very important because I'm not using no external uh, processing gear or anything like that. I'm just using the MPC, a few plugins within the MPC that you'll see right now, and going straight to you. So right here, we have a blank session. I'm actually going to put this beat at 90 beats per minute. I actually have this in track one, my drums. I load it up and let's just see what we come up with. I'll start off with my drums. I'm going to go into my grid editor and let's use this hi-hat and start laying something down right here. Cool. Now I'm going to drop in a snare. Nice. Now it's going with that kick. And now I'm obviously going to use the power of the MPC's grid editor and just automate some of these velocities. Probably dro drop down the velocity of these sub kicks at about 50%. And I can also nudge these a few sa uh, samples over. Turn on no repeat. Now let's jump into track number two. And in track number two, let's actually go into our browser and let's listen to some melodic loops, maybe something that we can chop up. I'm gonna just go ahead and put loops. Okay, I'm gonna listen to one of these loops. Maybe we can use this. Oh. Oh, that sounds nice. I'm probably gonna use that right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use this loop that we just called up, I think is the chill loop. Cool, I'm gonna go from trim to chop and I'm gonna just drop in a few slices right here. Bam. I'm gonna turn on zero snap. That's cool right there. I'm gonna convert this to its own program. Go right here in track number two, recall that sample. We'll go right there and let's see how this sounds. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and lay that down. That sounds nice. Yeah. Let's jump into track number three. And in track number three, I'm gonna just jump into a plugin instrument. Now, I'm using the power of the MPC blend in with the sounds that we have from the sample packs. Going into this uh, plugin instrument, I'm gonna jump into this bass synthesizer right here. And right here, I have this thick bass that actually sounds really nice. I'm gonna load that up. Now, before I start playing anything, I gotta see what key the sample's in is, which is an A minor. It shows it right there. So now when we go into this bass, we jump into this pad perform, make sure it's in A and it's in major, make sure I drop it into minor. And now we should be in key. Nice. Now we go into track number four. Let's add a new plugin, uh, instrument plugin. I'm gonna go into this tube synth and let's try out this static super saw so it can kind of cut through the whole mix. Let's lower that down. Okay. 
I'm gonna jump into the mixer page of the MPC, which is hit this mix button, and I'm gonna grab all the instrument plugins and put them into a subgroup. Go into the synthesizer, the outputs, sub one, my melodic sample, also sub one, my bass sample. I'm not sure if I should put this bass sample in sub one, but I'm gonna do it for right now. And then I'm gonna go from my programs into my uh, sub mixes. And in sub mix one, where all of my melodic instruments are going into, uh, I'm gonna go to the inserts and I'm gonna put uh, dynamics. Let's put in Mother Ducker. And then on my kick of the drums in pad five, let's make sure we have Mother Ducker input selected right here. Now that we hit play, we should get a pumping effect or a ducking sound every time the kick hits. Woo! Nice. So this is actually sounding really nice. I'm loving the sound that I'm getting. And keep in mind, I do not have no external processing. I really don't have any plugins on anything that I have going on other than Mother Ducker. No compression on my Master Bus, no Air Flavor Pro. I wanna keep this as natural as possible so you could listen to the sound that we're getting. Now, I really appreciate you taking the time and hanging out with me in this video. Keep in mind, there is going to be a limited amount of Timberland's uh, MPCs available to the public. So if you guys want more information, make sure you guys go down to the link of this video. Now, that's it for me right here. I wanna say thank you to everybody that hung out with me on this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.